crystal. I've loved dolls my whole life. I collect everything from porcelain to cloth, American Girl, neonates, and real care dolls. But my favorite is to collect and make reborn dolls. There's Chloe, Grace, Jeremy, Maya, Yuki, Savannah, Zoe, Haley, Landon, Maisie, and Joshua. It isn't easy keeping up with my collection, but it sure is a lot of fun. Hi guys, I am here with an American Girl haul. Um, so, uh, after all of our expenses and bills had been paid from Riley's end of life care and all that stuff and um, things like that, I decided to do a little retail therapy to try and cheer myself up a bit. So I got myself some American Girl items from Indigo and I also um, did like a huge haul from Joe Fresh for myself for some new summer pajamas um, and then I ended up looking at some other stuff they had and I got two summer dresses. Um, new tank tops for the summer and I also got myself a kind of like a, a new kind of winter coat not one that's like an everyday coat but a little more of a dressy coat because I've never had like a dressy coat um, they arrived today and I tried everything on and most of the pajamas I'm keeping there was just um these two like romper type pajamas that I just didn't like the way they looked on me and uh, a tank top like a pajama tank top um, I didn't really care for the fit of that either but the other pajamas I've kept and out of the two tank tops I'm keeping one the other one um, I it was a little too big a little too baggy on me um, and then as for the dresses there's one that I'm definitely gonna keep the other one I'm kind of iffy on because it actually f the top part of the dress fits very similar to the other tank top that I'm getting rid of that I'm not keeping um, it's very loose up top but I'm wondering if it could be taken in um, so I'm gonna like try and decide what I want to do with that and then as for the coat, it's a little bit baggy in the shoulder area um, because the sleeves are kind of long. So I'm not sure if it's fitting me properly. I don't know if I might need to size down. Um, I'm just not sure. But my mom was telling me that my grandma... Um, now my grandmother has, uh, is going to be moving on Wednesday from her senior building into a long-term care facility. Um, her dementia, uh, we don't know if it's like Alzheimer's. She hasn't been fully diagnosed with Alzheimer's yet, but it is some form of dementia. I'm pretty sure it's Alzheimer's. Um, her memory is getting worse and she's hallucinating I think because like she's she was talking on the weekend to my mom about working in a maternity ward like she was telling my mom that she like works part-time in a maternity ward taking care of the babies and stuff so she just says like a lot of things that aren't real or like they don't make sense um so she's just dealing with a lot of memory loss and confusion and she is wandering and you know they're concerned about her like getting out of the building and getting lost so um one thing she doesn't seem to have forgotten is that her old apartment was on the second floor and if you guys remember i mentioned that the stupid building cares more about profit so they had vacancies and of course no one was coming into those vacancies during COVID so they rented out my grandmother's floor to the local hospital 
for long-term care patients to make room for COVID patients at the hospital. And so my grandma was moved from the second floor to the first floor and she was literally moved like right below her old apartment. So it was the exact same, um, it was the exact same apartment layout and everything as her old one, but on the first floor. And apparently when she wanders, she keeps trying to go to her old apartment on the second floor. So anyways, my mom uh, was there on the weekend and she was having her try on all of her clothes because apparently she's lost a lot of weight. And so my mom was telling me that there's quite a few jackets that don't fit her anymore, some of which are dressy. And so she's going to bring those home to see if I might um, fit into any of them. So I, depending on what type of jackets they are, um, if I end up going with one of those, then I'll just like return the one from Joe Fresh. But I don't know, like I, I like the one from Joe Fresh. I'm just not sure if it's too big on me. Um, but I have to remember that I'm going to have like winter clothes under it like sweaters and stuff so I don't know if that'll make a difference um but yeah so that's kind of what I did so let's jump into the American Girl haul so the first thing I got here are the rainbow glitter high tops I love these shoes and I've been wanting them for a while now oh yeah I keep forgetting that I want to do any of the shoes that have this kind of glitter on it. I need to like spray them with hairspray. People have told me that that prevents the glitter from falling off everywhere. I really need to take a day to go through my shoes that are like this and spray them with hairspray. But look at these glittery rainbow shoes. Aren't they so cute? So, so cute. So they've got um, green, blue, purple, pink, yellow, green, I can't remember if I said that. The laces are hot pink and then there's like a, a hot pink ribbon that goes up the heel. And there's a hot pink stripe on the sole of the shoes on the side and the sole of the shoes is like a white rubbery kind of thing. Um, God, those are so adorable. I absolutely love those. So that is the rainbow ones. And then I also got the metallic ballet flats. So let's see. Here they are. These are super cute. So they're just a metallic purple, like a light purple, um, Mary Jane, like flat shoe. And the bow on the front is glittery purple, really pretty shoes. And then I have some, these are ready set sandals from the Fiercely You collection, which I wasn't too keen on the um, clothes from the Fiercely You collection, but I did like these shoes because I thought um, I have some summery outfits that I got on Etsy that these will go with. So they're just your basic, the sole is white, and then it's just got two straps that go across that are a light purple, and then there's an elastic strap that goes around the heel. It's just purple and white. Very basic, but I feel like it'll go well with some of the summer outfits I have because um, I don't have too many sandals for the summer outfits. I have like running shoes or like little ballet flats and stuff like that. Then I decided to splurge a little and I got the another world traveler outfit and this is from Paris France I had to get it because I have the American Girl Grace doll who I named Cece Grace and sh her storyline is around her going to Paris 
And also Alex and I had our honeymoon in Paris, so I could not resist this outfit. It is too cute and I cannot wait to try it on Grace. CC Grace. So let's see. So it is a short sleeve uh, blouse. And it's black with pink and white Eiffel Towers all over it. And then it has, um, are these faux buttons? Yeah. It has three white fake buttons down the, uh, going down from the top. And the collar is black sequins. And then the sleeve has a stripe of black velvet around it. And it's just a very nice light. And then it's got a pink beret that really reminds me of Grace's beret that she actually had as one of her accessory sets. And I, I didn't get that accessory set because I would have only been buying it for the hat. The rest of the stuff that came with it, I had no use for. So I just couldn't justify spending it just for the hat. So I ha at least have this and I feel like this hat will go with a lot of Grace's outfits. So it's like a, a pink beret. It feels like it's made out of uh, felt or a like a wooly felt, felt kind of material. And then it has this gold heart that's like, um, yeah, it's like a gold sparkly heart stitched into it. And then this adorable skirt. I don't know, would that be like a tweed kind of thing? It just says a blouse, skirt, beret, shoes and tights. So, But it's kind of like a tweed material, I think. And it's pink and white. And then it has four little um, gold buttons sewn on it. They don't do anything. They're just decorative. It has Velcro at the back of the skirt. And the shoes are black flats and they're like a patent leather material but they have a little bit of sparkle in them and then they have these cute pink hearts on the toe area that sparkles and then there are pink tights to wear with that and then of course the brochure so it says bienvenue en France Welcome to France. And there's the girl wearing the outfit. So you can kind of see what it's supposed to look like. Now she has the accessory set. I haven't gone out and bought any of the World Traveler accessories. I don't know if I will. Um, I don't know if I really have a need for them. France is known. Oh, here's a better view of the outfit. And the accessories are like a, a little bag, a baguette some postcards, things like that. France is known for art, fashion, and fancy food and drink. When you visit, don't miss these special experiences. Visit the Eiffel Tower at night and watch it twinkle with millions of lights. And we did that. We did that. And then another day during the daytime, we actually climbed, or well, we didn't climb all the steps, but we took the elevator up the Eiffel Tower. Um, uncover secrets at Palace of Versailles. Um, you'll feel like a queen in this royal residence full of extravagant furniture. We wanted to go to Versailles, but we did not have time. We did not have time to do that when we went. We just like, our days were jam packed full of stuff. That was back when I was healthy. Um, it was like about a month after our honeymoon that I started to get sick. Um, soak in some of the most famous art in the world at the Louvre and the Musée d'Orsay in Paris. The Mona Lisa is smaller than you might expect. Yeah, we were, we were like, that's the Mona Lisa. <laughs> like we pretty much went to the Louvre for the Mona Lisa and we could not get over how small it was. <laughs> And it took forever to get, like, close enough to it to actually, like, see it because um, there were so many people in that room. And what was really funny about it was on the opposite wall to it 
was this massive giant painting that almost took up the entire wall. So it was really, really funny. Um, and you weren't allowed to use flash photography to take a photo, but we videoed it. And I, I believe I have our whole honeymoon video footage on my channel. You can go and check it out. Uh, visit a bakery to enjoy France's classic food, a baguette. This long crusty bread tastes great on its own or with some delicious French cheese. Uh, we got like baguettes when we went to like restaurants. Uh, they're great, but I can't have them plain. And we found that like a lot of places didn't offer butter to put on them or stuff. Like I have to have butter on bread. Otherwise I can't, I, like I find bread too dry without butter. Um, the cheese, I mean, they didn't really have cheese with it either. And then it has the instructions to make the passport thingamajiggy. So that's that outfit and I'm quite pleased with it. I can't wait to... I still have a few, I have some of my um, AG dolls that are still in their uh, Valentine outfits. And so I am, uh, I, I'm gonna have to change them out of those. So one of them will be uh, wearing this outfit. And then this was something that I only recently decided I wanted. Um, because I thought it would be really cute for some outdoor photographs, um, because I have the outfit. So this is the Explore the Parks accessories. I have the Explore the Parks outfit, and I just thought this would be really cute to have to pair up with the outfit for some cute pictures. Um, now, I don't know, um, I might... I might even just like actually use it for like a couple of photos and then return it just for photo like but I like the hiking boots and the backpack is really cute so I don't know I might I'll, pro I'll probably end up keeping it but it is adorable so it is um this cute backpack it's like a, a coral color with little white designs on it and then it's like a brown faux leather on the flap and the bottom part. And it has a gray clip to open up the backpack like that. And it's got, it's got a pretty good amount of space in there. And it's got pink shoulder straps. And then it's got this um, pink elastic hanging from the bottom of the bag where you can put a sleeping bag and it comes with the sleeping bag already rolled up in place. And the sleeping bag is white with orange, pink and green mountains and pink suns. And it has a zipper to zip up the, uh, the uh, sleeping bag. Let's see how big the sleeping bag is. Oh, oh wow. That's a decent sized sleeping bag. It looked so much smaller rolled up. Oh, and inside it has this really nice soft cotton that's like a turquoise with orange flowers, pink flowers, um, different colored leaves. That's adorable. Um, I might even be able to use that, like use this sleeping bag for like, if um, I want to put like, now to figure out how to fold this back up in the thing. Um, if I want to put, uh, with Courtney, cause Courtney has a sleeping bag. Um, yeah, that would be interesting. I don't know if I did this right. I don't know if I rolled it up correct. It looks like it's rolled up a lot more than it was before. I don't know if that's going to be too bulky on the doll. I'll, I'll have to watch the video back to see how it was folded up, but that's the backpack and then it comes with little hiking boots because the outfit comes with sandals which is cute on its own but if you want to do a hiking outfit you need hiking boots and they're just the brown leather black soles red uh, laces and then it also comes with socks that are gray and turquoise and there's green sunglasses the handles have um, pink, orange, turquoise, and yellow stripes. 
and there is a what is this it says national parks what is this oh bumper stickers bumper stickers okay so there's two in there. I don't know what the other one says. I'm not going to open it until I decide I want to keep this. And then there's a nature field journal. This journal belongs to parks I've explored, park name and date. There's a word search. Did you hear that? Close your eyes, listen to the sounds. Did you hear chirping birds, crunching twigs? Oh, this is really cute little thing look at animal tracks it's like a little activity book leaf hunt draw your favorite tree mushroom identification layers of a tree trunk insects seek and find coloring pages outdoor safety tips oh that's really cute that is so cute look up what do you see look down what do you see Fun facts about wildlife sounds. That's adorable. That is super cute. And then it comes with a brochure. It says, take a hike. Learn to spot. Um, learn to spot these beautiful birds on your next national park adventure. And yeah, I can see like actually... Maybe I did do it right. That does look right. Looks like it's rolled up correctly. Um, so look at look at how cute that is. With the outfit, with the oh, it's so adorable. So the other oh the other one says America's National Parks. So it just talks about the American goldfinch. Uh, the Per peregrine falcon, common loon, ruby-throated hummingbird, and bird-watching tips. Really cute. I love it. Interesting that they didn't have this in a plas separate plastic thing like they usually do. Um, yeah, it kind of like makes me think like you could have had whatever anyway um so there's that how did they fit all this in here wow okay so there is my american girl haul i'm quite happy with these i am almost finished sorting through all of my photos and videos like organizing them all so i'm hoping to have that finished by the end of today if not tomorrow and then I can start uh, to go through them like actually look at the pictures and videos of Riley and um, decide what I want to include in his memorial videos so I'm getting there <laughs> I'm getting there my hope is that I can get get it finished by the weekend if not by next week at the latest fingers crossed um, Last week was a little bit easier. I managed to get stuff done. So I have found that if I keep myself busy, um, it's been a bit easier. So just doing things like getting things done around the apartment and organizing the photos. And then Thursday I got all the baby's summer clothes out and put their winter clothes away. So just keeping busy with things like that. Um, I have to get my summer clothes out. We're in a heat wave right now. So I've just been wearing sundresses when I go out. Um, but our we need to do washing. And our washing machine broke. So we're waiting on a new one. Um, I'm hoping our landlord brings one like in the next couple of days. Because we need to wash our bedding and clothes as well so uh paula 
came to visit me on Saturday, so that was nice. We spent the late afternoon and evening together. We got Wendy's for dinner, and we popped some popcorn, and we watched a movie together. We watched The Wedding Singer, and it was just really nice because I haven't seen her since Christmas. So it was very nice to see her, and... um I'm hoping that things are going to start reopening in Ontario soon so that we can have a dull day with Marilyn and Diana and everyone can get together and have fun. So anyways, thanks so much for watching this video, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye!